Hey everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a fly here, um, the mayfly pattern, it's the shadow mayfly. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, uh, along with a link to the Patreon page, for everybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members on the content, and be eligible for the giveaways. So, got my hook and my vise, this is a size 12, camera's on B830, and I'm running on a bed of Uni 8 Ot in red. Come about halfway down the shank, I'm going to come up to the, the wing tie in, about halfway back up that to the quarter point. Just if you want to, if you've got a sample fly, you can always check. Right, if you're not sure, that helps you get the consistency. And the wing is these um, it's cut hackle. Right, this is this, I was able to break out a, an old old tool. Um, a wing cutter. I've not used this in years. Um, I mean, you can tell it's a baker light handle. It's don't even remember where I got these. Whether you need to cut the wing or not, I, I mean, I don't think it really matters for the fish. You could just have two hackle tips sticking up if you don't have a wing cutter. But um, I just thought I'd do it just since it was in the pattern. This fly actually is a. Somebody asked me to tie it. Um, it's no. It's not something I would normally tie, really. So I've got these hackles, and I know that this wing's about the, the length of the body. Right? It's, it's the right size for this. And I've offered them up so that they're curving away from each other. Now, I'm just going to run back with the thread until I come to the end of my stripped off piece, keep it tight, just snap that away. Come back up, now I'm going to lift the wing and come in front, then I'll make a wee ramp so that I can tie right up against it with the thread. And then you can sort of see how you're sitting. You can take a figure eight. Or two through. And another wee wrap just in front and behind just to consolidate it. Then your wing has got to be something like this. Now, I'm not sure if this is part of the original dressing or not. I've found conflicting uh, conflicting recipes in it, but you can add it or not, it's up to you, um, and it's just a wee tail. I'm going to take half a dozen or, or thereabouts fibres of mousse. Uh, you can use mane or body hair, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to align the tips as best I can. You I mean you could put it in a stacker, but it seems for six hairs it's seems a bit a bit much. So we'll get them lined up. That's I don't know five or six fibers there. And the length I want to be like two shank lengths. So there's one, two, transfer that, and I'll catch that point in just at the barb, a couple of wraps of thread onto the bare hook, a turn hard up underneath to lift it, and then just bind that down. So smooth all that out, that's to the back of the, the feathers, stems there for the wing. Just 
Now, at this stage, I'm just going to come in a wee bit of cement there, and a wee bit there at the tail. Right, that will just make it a bit more, the fly a bit more durable. And then the body is just grizzly hackle. Uh, I'm going to tie, I've got a saddle hackle here, so hopefully it's long enough to get up in one shoot. If it's not, I just need to tie in another. Just bring your thread to the front. And it's just a case of winding this up. Make sure you get started right at the back and next to the tail. And then wind up. Now, one turn in front of the I don't mind if there's a wee bit of the thread occasionally shows through. Right, so you're just building this bushy body. Now, I don't know, I mean, I've heard that this people fish this on the river. When you get to the wing, come up, and you see there I've just moved the wing slightly. Right, if I come back. That just cocks the wing ever so slightly. Lift the wing back and get a tight wrap in. Right, and then you're right and hard against it. You can put it again so that you're well clear if you need to. Just watch these fibres. And then wind forward. I mean, I think this would be a good uh, loch style fly for the mayfly, the mayfly and ice dry, or a dappin fly even, but I don't know about the rivers. Seems a bit overdressed and heavy, but you never know. People obviously did fish it. Somebody obviously still does. So, get to the front, just tie off your hackle, come in. Trim that away close. And then it's just a case of coming in. Wait, a couple of hook finishes. And then, obviously, as usual, a wee bit of varnish on the head. Just come over the eye with the brush. Let that flood up into the into the eye and soak into the thread. And then just come in with your needle. Clear it away. So there you go, that's the shadow mayfly. Funny looking wee pattern, but by all accounts effective. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.